And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scion Rek'Sai. Gonna be our first deck today. Uh, it's Meme Tier Monday. We're playing some kind of crazy combinations. That's right, putting Rek'Sai and Scion together. Um, but this is gonna be a Lurk deck, of course, with Rek'Sai. Um, playing Noxus along with Rek'Sai is gonna give us some ways to be able to buff up Rek'Sai's power, because of course we really want to attack with Rek'Sai with 10 plus power as early as possible, because then Rek'Sai levels up, gets the Overwhelm, um, and also then creates three random Lurkers in hand. Super powerful level up. So in order to help us do that, we're going to have Might and Elixir of Wrath. Elixir of Wrath, of course, being the cheaper one that's really good there, you know, using one or maybe even both to really buff up the Rek'Sai. But we're also going to have Mites in here because besides Rek'Sai, if we have like these other Lurkers, you know, like... Like Rexile will create random lurkers, call the pack create random lurkers. You know, like we'll have like these smaller lurkers that don't usually have overwhelm, but they have a lot of power because lurk keeps on increasing their power. And so thinking that might can maybe steal some games with us with that. Besides that, we're gonna continue to lurk, continue to play units which with large power because they're lurk, and then hopefully leveling up our scion in the process that needs to see 35 plus power. Uh, worth of units to be summoned now whenever your units grow in power when they're in play that doesn't help your sign It only checks whenever they're summoned what what their power is at that time But if we lurked, you know, like four times then even like a hatchlings like a five one, you know that we can get that level up pretty quickly So that's what the decks about it's got some card draw with whisper words and preservarium So you got good card draw you got some predict to help smooth out the draws with the chronomancer and the Xerci caller and uh, that's really about it. Uh, we got, besides those two, you know, like Zerzareth and Zersai Dunebreaker are going to be like some good finishers. We have like some, a bunch of big overwhelm finishers between Scion, these two, and Rek'Sai. So that's how we'll be finishing out games. And then, of course, Might. All right, so let's get to it. We're going to be playing five games over in normal. So here we go. Okay, playing just against a Caitlyn deck. Caitlyn with Noxus. This is the kind of deck you would expect to see, like, Draven, Caitlyn. But maybe Draven with the two health has been taken out of the deck by now. All right, we're going to go and mulligan Rek'Sai. Because Rek'Sai, you know, we want on top of the deck that we want to uh, be able to find it there. Okay, so we're gonna call the pack. The Rex Eye, put it back. Step lightly. Attack it, double lurk. Tough places bring tough people. Okay. We're just going to play our one drops. Kind of go wide a little bit. We want to be able to predict after this. I guess we could have predicted right there after they attacked, but... Um, I went ahead and waited. Alright, so none of these are lurk. I'll go ahead and skip, even though they would not have been bad. We're you know, getting a lot of the lurk cards in our hand right now. Um... I guess. Might as well play this too. So the good thing about the predict is it shuffles the deck. So like whenever they put the, the flash bomb traps on top of the deck, we are shuffled in. So the, they could be on top, but not necessarily. All right, we hit lurk. Sorry, wrong turn. Try and keep up. That was an important lurk hit. All right, we got them down to eight. Setting up a roadblock. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. Um. So we have four flash bombs coming up soon. I would, I want to play the five drops though, but I also kind of want to play this Chronomancer and just shuffle away those time, those four flash bombs. But I guess, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll just keep three spell mana. 
Perfect. Elixir of Wrath. Is what we need for the Rek'Sai. Three. Attack in. I guess there's no real reason to attack with you. Oh, and we hit Lurk also. <clears throat> Perfect. So now we create our three new Lurkers. Rek'Sai levels up. Rek'Sai all cool. Yeah, and they, just, they can't handle that. There we go, GG's. That plus three on that Rek'Sai, that's really important. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Action Lee Sin's always really difficult to beat. We're gonna hopefully get some more luck like we just had that last game. Wonder if we should keep Preservarium. No, maybe not, I don't know. I could see Preservarium being pretty nice to have. It's also kind of nice keeping cards that don't have Lurk, so that there's more cards that have Lurk on, in the deck. Good people don't look the other way. Mm. I think we skip. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Villains beware. That's a real bad sign. So that means they have the Shirima, one mana, plus two, plus one. That's quite unfortunate. I was definitely hoping to keep them scared of attacking. Uh, I could block to just get it out of their hand, but I don't really see the reason to do that. Rek'Sai. No Rek'Sai, but we got a Lurker. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. See what I've learned? The dragon binds us. Oh god now. A really good hand opponent gonna be a, a tough hand to to beat with that kind of deck wow great hand you cannot run from absolution I think our chances of winning this are incredibly, incredibly slim right now, but we will try. Because we have to attack one, and then we also really don't want to attack because, you know, like, all I'm doing is hurting my Zeres of Wrath and making it better attacks for their action. So we're in that tough spot where we have to attack and we can't attack. I guess we can attack with the Waking Sands, I guess. Yeah, we don't even hit Lurk. <laughs> Alright, well... Time. 
mistake is what I make. All right, hopefully we hit quicksand. Quicksand, quicksand. Oh, quicksand would have been so good. But man, what a what a perfect hand for the opponent. You are quicksand. A little late, not gonna lie, a little late. Cool, I You like it? I mean, shut up and fight. Only we had one more mana, we could do both of these roar of the slayers. That'd be nice. Oh, mean well. This is justice. They just don't want to go for killing me. They'd rather just kill my units. I, I don't know what they were doing there, but <laughs> oh well. All right, one and one. Oh, that was amazing. Darkness control. We hope that they're just like a really... Con yeah, like... You know, don't really have the champions, but besides that, just have like a lot of control spells because we can actually get like a decent amount of threats. We have a lot of card draw with Preservariums and Whisper Words. So it is possible for us to... Uh, kind of play a longer game and just play big threats but if they play like a a Vagar for example like there's no removal in our deck and so one Vagar just will sit there and make the darkness <laughs> cost you know do a lot of damage and then just hit our Nexus and we probably lose all right Chronomancer is a good draw I kept call the pack Rek'Sai so we could put Rek'Sai on top and double lurk I felt like that's probably pretty important Oh, maybe I should have taken the, the three mana predict lurker. Yeah, I should have taken that card. Okay. I'm gonna put you on top. See what I've learned? Double lurk. We'll try to lurk on their rounds. I guess we just blind lurk. Oh, well, they have the card we can't beat. So if we cast Whisper Words right now, it only costs three mana. Because if we don't cast it, we're losing one anyway, like we save three mana. Might as well cast it. The Rek'Sai's at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, we can level up Rek'Sai next round. Round 5, leveled up Rek'Sai is pretty cool. Yeah, Rek'Sai could get many more. Hopefully they let us attack first. But even if they don't, we just trade a 3 mana card for a 6 mana card, plus we get a 3-3. So it's not like it's like 
the end of the world. I'd much rather mini morph than like vengeance. Because vengeance is just gone. Mini morph wheelies get a 3 3. Alright, so we missed the lurk. But, create our three lurkers. This looks pretty bad for us. Like I said, there's one card that was really going to be a problem. That's the Vagar. But so you can see here we've we've gotten plus five, plus zero. So each one of these plus five, plus zeros will level up. So you probably want to trade with just the one health thing against that deck. Leveling up our scion pretty fast now. And I want it now. Lord Vega, you cannot rush perfection. What wondrous discoveries await below? Okay. You witness true power. Hmm, no Rexai. Oh man, there's Rek'Sai. Kind of wasn't planning on attacking after this Fading Memories unit, but now I feel like we should. I turn it like so. So I want to keep all these things alive for Jawfish next round. That's my plan. Anything can be scattered to its elements, even us. Come on, really? I have five things here, and none of them can hit the Vagar. This is this is honestly like the worst possible, right? Because then, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, I was thinking that it was only this one was the only one hitting the life steal, and all they had to do was just ping this, and their life steal would have survived. But no, that wasn't the case. But still, yeah, this is uh, really bad. Couldn't even hit Vagar. Good afternoon, Tali Zio. Big head, big brain! Witness true power! Now these other ones have... It's just so crazy. can't believe we couldn't kill the Vagar. That's too bad. Couldn't kill Vagar. Uh, 
Okay, Lulu Jinx always looks incredibly good whenever I play against it, because, like, the, the whole point of their deck is to have, like, free 0-2 challengers and Lulu buffing it, and, like, that's kind of all they can do, but they always do that against me, and it's really good. I've never seen them, like, not have a Lulu, for example. Um, so, I, I don't know. The quicksand is kind of enticing, because that would give us, like, at least a little bit of interaction that we have been sorely missing in some of these other games. Alright, so not too good of a start for them. Surprised they didn't attack. Alright, let's make sure we heal our good hit for us. Making, you know, just making one drop, two drop. Especially even that vulnerable two drop, like, yeah, that's... Those are good hits. Alright, so that's going to buff up Flame Chompers to be a plus two plus one, so a two three. So these are two twos that I have. We had Rek'Sai on top. If I didn't use that call to pack, it would have hit Rek'Sai. Okay, but this is going pretty good for us so far, because they only have the two cards that we don't know about. Not really scared of anything else in their hand. They discarded, like, a Flame Chompers that they could have kept hidden instead of discarding the Flame Chompers that we knew about. Um, well, that's not great. Okay, so next round's around six, right? Yeah, and so, okay, well, if I knew we were drawing that, we would have played the Zersai Caller. But we have to hit Lurk this round. So that's why I didn't play the Zersai Caller, because to level up Rek'Sai, we have to hit Lurk. I'm gonna play this pretty card. Lurk. Not a Lurk card? Oh, wow. Yep, that tasted purple. Do we risk risk it or wait till next round? Next round, you know, be a lot safer. Our next attack round, that is. Be able to go Chronomancer plus Rek'Sai. You know, like, we play... We play Doombreaker next round and then be able to go both of those. I think we probably just wait. Ah, oh, we would have hit... If I would have played Rek'Sai, Rek'Sai would have leveled up, you know, Rek'Sai plus Elixir. But we were blind. They're setting up my stuff with one health. It dies to Super Mega Death Rocket.
can't attack. Now it's a party. Again, again, we have to hit Lurk on top, but I can't guarantee that we hit Lurk. Unless I play this thing. But the problem playing the Chronomancer is then it's likely that, like, you know, then they'll be able to play the Super Mega Death Rocket. Oh, no, they were. Able, they had Burst Speed get rid of a card. That was the worst thing for us to see. Alright, well. Guess we gotta play this now. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. See what I've learned? Perfect. I wanted to, you know, our best thing that we could do was create a Snapjaw Swarm. So we could get, you know, another attack in. So creating that Snapjaw Swarm was really good. Puts them down to negative eight. That's not very much life. <laughs> GG Rexi. Buff Rexi. That's how we do it. Two and two. Okay, back to darkness control. So hopefully they don't have Vagar around forever. That's the one card in their deck. Alright, let's get rid of those. Honestly, I should maybe mulligan the Hatchling too, because they they actually, they kill one health things fairly easily. I kind of kept them because they're cheap, but I probably should have mulliganed that. Alright, I'm going to play this because it's fearsome. Make sure it hit my lurk. Yeah, they just kill one health things too easily. Give me your valley's creatures of doom. Go get the shiny dog. All right, we gotta play blockers for that thing, obviously. Keep doing this. Keep making sure we hit lurk. Alright, we'll save two spell mana for that waking sands. We'll get Zerza Wrath and play next round. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. It's two mana deal three fast speed. That is busted. Eye forward. Darkness and light. That's busted. All right. Well, I guess that champion's pretty good too. I guess both our champions are pretty good. Yep, yep, we got the Zig Swain donation deck. Smooth brain fool! 
The old easily create two mana deal fours. No big deal. Keep your distance. This attack creates more. Perfectly fair. Alright, so no lurkers there. Opponent. G G's. So maybe we hit Senna and they have no answer for the six seven. That doesn't seem likely at all. That doesn't seem likely at all. Come, come. It's showtime. Man, these things are just one mana deal fours now. Just the better final sparks. There's a scion. <laughs> All you have to do is just attack with a 4 4 quick attack and you get a final spark. Oh, that's absurd. Took it fair and square. Still have tons of cards over there because they haven't actually been using any cards. They've just are just using all these things they're creating for free. Okay, so all three of our losses were against you know two incredibly good decks. You know, two against Darkness, and one against Action Lee Sin, and the Action Lee Sin hand was awesome. And... No real shame in losing any of these games. We're a meme tier deck for a reason. Make the hurt your weapon. One more family, not one more soul. So darkness now costs zero. Keep your distance. Hey, Saigoomba, thanks for give, gifting a sub over to Nasher. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So if we had the attack token again, you know, like, they, they played it well, not giving me the rally, but if, if we would have had the attack token again, we could have played this Rek'Sai and then attacked it, and it would have been 10 power. I forward, darkness and light. Don't touch it.
will shape death as easily as clay. Now we'll finish it off. You know, those those decks are too good <laughs> for us. Uh, especially at the hands they had. You know, just the champions. I guess we, we gotta have like a little bit of removal in here for champions, I suppose. Anyway, I have to say that Rek'Sai looked really good. And Rek'Sai plus Pump Spells looked really good. Re Rek'Sai plus Elixir of Wrath in particular. That combo was awesome. And we were, you know, we were really showing off the power of that combo. So that's that's like my one big takeaway from this is that looked really, really good. Uh, it looked like the uh, Lurkers didn't really level up Scion, Scion that well. It was pretty tough. And having to play, you know, like three copies of this one, three copies of this one, you know, like we had just an expensive curve having to play all these expensive lurkers because, you know, we didn't have Bilgewater, so we didn't have the other uh, cheaper lurkers. You know, we only, you know, had these two. Um, so that hurt. That's kind of the, you know, that's the problem with, with lurk is they they really pigeonholed it into being, like, you, you have to play Bilgewater and you have to play Shurima. I don't really know why they do that, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. So yeah, maybe trying to find like more ways to have Rek'Sai plus Pump Spells. Pump Spells looked good. I know Shurima and Bilgewater aren't really known for their Pump Spells. Shurima, of course, has the Ruthless Predator, and I think that's the best one. I don't think there's really any plus three or plus fours that I can think of. Um, Noxus also has, uh, definitely consider playing like Thornblade in here instead of Might. Um, you know, getting a huge plus five, which, which is just absurd. Um, that's an option. And that would work well with, like, some of these other over ones that would have Overwhelm. Um, you know, including, like, here's Arizona Wrath and stuff. But went with the Might for, you know, some of these other lower-cost ones. You know, like, maybe being able to give these Overwhelm also. Okay. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's gonna be it for Scion Rek'Sai. Um, but we did talk about, like, during this, like, you know, maybe, like, the... The Scions were pretty difficult to level up. Like in in theory, it's kind of cool of like having big big lurkers level up the Scions, but it was difficult in practice. And maybe having like um, Darius, you know, just using Darius instead because it's it's easier to get the opponent's Nexus to less than ten than the thirty five power probably. And it's just a mana cheaper, so maybe that. Or of course, you can always have like your Sivir, Renekton, uh, that kind of stuff as well. Anyway, that's going to be it, though, for Scion Rek'Sai, or Rek'Sion. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and uh, let me know how you like the uh, deck. Anything like that, you got other meme tier video deck ideas or ranked deck ideas, let us know in the comment section. But thank you so much for watching some Scion Rek'Sai, and we'll see you for the next video.